Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to PCM22 Career Mode, Episode 63. I will squeeze as much as I can into this episode. I'm sorry that I am constantly pressed for time these days. Uh, the massive yard project is still ongoing. The basketball season is in total disarray and very much in need of every minute that I can give there as well. And then, of course, there is the channel and you know, the recent releases of both Victoria 3, well, F1 Manager before that, Victoria 3, and now uh, Football Manager 23 as well. So it's been a busy season. It is always the busiest season. Things usually tend to settle down following this one. I know there are some more upcoming releases, but smaller, much smaller titles that wouldn't need the kind of time dedication. Well, anyway, here we have our first two major objectives of the year happening simultaneously, Perry Nice, and then here, Torino, Adriatico, GC, Hopes for both for the sponsor. Top three. Big ask. Very big ask for two pretty big races. So we divided our forces and are doing our best to do just that in each. Now here, stage one, team time trial. We got a tremendous start. Just one second off of Jumbo Visma's race lead. In fact, it was actually the same time that we finished on, but the count back uh, brought it out to that to, to the one second uh, deficit. Hawkins going to go ahead and get some water for us. The Peloton split, we actually have just 46 riders left uh, as, of course, it instantly comes back together. The moment I say something, I, I don't say anything. I don't say anything. I don't say anything. And then the moment I bring it up, right, that's when it comes back together. Still only a minute 35 to the chasing 91, but Again, that means they are expending some firepower to uh, to try to get up there. Well, let's prepare for the climb to come. Punchy stage here. First thing is we are looking to try to win the stage, uh, but primarily it's don't lose time, especially when we're in a strong position right now. Through the sprint point, breakaway still away. Peloton getting smaller. I wouldn't be surprised if the field starts to stretch, which means that group behind could regain contact, but I would think that not all 95 would actually get back up here as we do catch part of the break. And there you go. Sure enough, right as we reach the top, it has happened. Roland is the one who is in the break as he's got maximum points there. Five and five, so that's obviously him. 48 seconds, still his advantage as we are now into the final 36 kilometers. Let's go ahead and get we want to get well, there's a lot of descending here we're okay we do not need to get water right now sprint point time available not worth the effort Huggins Bach both a little bit tired Azumi slightly tired that's because they're the domestiques but that keeps everybody else nice and fresh and then of course here's that peloton it's all together again as we prepare this is the penultimate hill and we get over the top, finish the descent off the larger hill that we were just on. There's a little bit of undulation on the flat down below, but mostly it's a, a flat valley. And then we'll go to that final climb. We now have 20k to go. And we are getting a little bit of blinking red, even on in 82. There is that small amount of undulation right here. Just a quick hill, a little acceleration from EF. That's going to put some guys under pressure, but we were well positioned. Now with 15k to go, the final climb looks like that. It does finish on the climb. It does flatten out a little bit in the middle, and we are going to want to have our train for this one. This is absolutely uh, sprint train type scenario. And it's time. 10.7k. Let's do it. Everybody's nice and fresh except for Hoggins. It's going to be at the front. Uh, Bach. Izumi. The lead out guys and then all of the favorites. Uh, Krantz, Gonzalez, and let's see, is it going to be Piccioni or today Fashek? Okay, gels for the first two, and let's get moving pretty hard, pretty fast because uh, we're not far from the base here. Now just 10 so Huggins emerges out front 
and then we're going to take the reins with 9k to go. Next couple of gels, we're almost into that area where it's going to flatten out a little bit. And when Bach is done, back to break toe, we are starting to drop riders. And we are definitely stopping anybody else from getting up here. You, you see a few guys that are pushing really hard right now, and yet they're not going anywhere. Bach just about recovering to the back end and helping break toe. Okay, 3k to go. Piccioni, let's let's not wait. Let's not wait. Ninety-seven from you. Oh, Bach is there too. Who is not? Huggins. Huggins needs to go to the back. Two K to go. Should have gelled for these last two a while ago. My bad on that part. Uh, but Vashek. 1.7. We'll give a 98 for that. Piccioni again. Let's try to break toe when and where, how we can. Okay, now 1K uphill sprint. Check gives us a solid lead out. Here comes Barancini. 700 meters, and a lot of that is uphill. All of that is uphill. Gonzalez, that is not full sprint territory. That is do this, do this, do this, and take second place, where Jorgensen is a proper puncher. He's, well, with bonuses. He's got the stage today, but we do have ourselves a second place. Like a and is anybody can he was sprint all? The there we today. go. Can we still get third? As we're rounding the corner, left, inside has the edge. Vashek does get third. So Gonzalez and Vashek both picked up time. Kranz also fourth. Would have been nice if he could have picked up some bonus time. But hey, a second, third, fourth place. Not a stage win, but uh, enough to beat the rest of the field. And as a team gain 10 seconds the only unfortunate thing there is that's going to probably put gonzalez into the race lead i believe and arrive. so now we're gonna have to defend oops we gained additional time here not just the four seconds that vashek picked up but gonzalez picked up an additional seven seconds jorgensen even more than that uh so now gonzalez leads from vashek pagatcher Rowan Dennis, all that's left from Jumbo Visma. That means there was a split in the field after 79th with guys losing a minute. So that really divides the field up quite a bit there. Uh, Kranz, Azumi, Hoggins still on same time where we finished, you know, that one second behind Jumbo Visma. Drone Hopper, the next closest with four guys left. Roglic had lost five seconds. I'm assuming uh, six seconds. I'm assuming that was not today but that was on the time trial by being you know sixth seventh or eighth in line that's how Jan Bach lost time I guess uh Piccioni had lost time at doing that as well over on the Perry Nice front there are two big obstacles that concern me one a mountain stage obviously that's something where you could lose a lot of time if you don't have the right race day condition but two an individual time trial. That's up next. Honey Martinez heads out on the individual time trial with a minus two. Race day condition never fails, absolutely never fails to, to screw us over any chance, every chance uh, that it gets. So it's going to be a tough one here for Martinez, who's not good in the time trial anyway, uh, but this big negative is going to make him a whole lot worse. Now, he is a good climber. And we do want to uh, kind of push with the last of the over over the top. I mean, right now he's only 48 seconds down. Uh, but his problem in here is the red bar is gone. He's going to lose a bit. Not a great descender either. So as we do claw back a little bit of red bar for him uh, on this descent, it's not going to be enough. But we're going to hit this little climb, this climb here and push hard through here. That's going to gain back essentially what he lost. 
and then I think we're gonna have to kind of lock in an 85 right at the end, get him a little 86. Arietta also a minus four, so the other hope, uh, the other hope is gone. A minute 11 down is still one of the better times on the team. But Felipe Algana just crushed that. Uh, we're not gonna lose time to everyone, but we're absolutely losing time to a lot of guys as Arietta goes through this area without ever having put his foot down. Ouch, on that part. Uh, I'm gonna go a little faster on your descent here. Yeah, that's not hurting him. Be risky. Okay, looks like you can push a 90 and still actually recover on a descent. Get through the climb portion and recover some of that time that you've lost here. It's because he's a good descender. That's a 75. Yeah, 227. Ouch. Uh, Mickles will be the last one to go, and he's not a GC hope, so... Boy, boy, that GC just got a whole lot harder. That Aaron Burrow? Uh, who else is a big-time climber? Shockman's not not anymore. He's been reshaped. Simon Yates? Right now, at least, there's, you know, no contenders within a minute. 45 seconds, anyway. Mickles gets a good race day condition, of course. The guy who doesn't need it. Nichols is a terrible climber, so he's going to lose a lot of time through here. We're going to have to use the uh, descent to push. It's not a good time trial list either. Let's speed it up here. But yeah, a minute and a half down is rough. And Nichols, minute 24 down. That's actually a really good time for him. But again, not a climber, and there's mountain stages to come. Top of the standings, guys, we've got to watch out for. Felipe Ogana has a 72 mountain, so that's not bad. Nordhagen has a 76 and not much stamina. So he, he won't be easy to dethrone, but he'll be dethroned. Jack Haig, there's a quality rider with 79 mountain, 77 stamina, and now probably the race favorite. Shockman, yeah, he's more of a puncher now than a climber, so he's not going to be that tough. Aaron Burrow is only a 71. He's, he's kind of reshaped himself as well. Bertrand, a 77 with 76 stamina. Uh, he won't lose a ton of time. But Haig is probably the race favorite now with a healthy bonus. And as for us, McKellar is the highest placed at 38th. Mickles Shergai uh, a little further down, and Martinez at a minute and a half. That's a lot of ground. A lot of ground if we're going to get a top three. Perny stage five, we're going pretty quick here, but my expectation based on this stage profile, I, I was thinking about using this climb to make things really hard and blow up the peloton, but it's just too far away from the finish. And knowing the AI, even if we had a peloton left of you know 20 riders and mostly leaders and guys who would stand to move up the order a lot, stand to benefit from it, uh, or say 40 riders and you know some support riders left on, on a few of the teams they wouldn't ride they just wouldn't ride it, it it doesn't happen it never happens that's how it is therefore we burn through our guys i'd end up with one or two guys left at the end of the race no problem they won't lose any time but i suddenly have six guys out of contention or no good reason. So, Arietta, we're trying the breakaway. It's not working. He's in the group that just got dropped. They're gonna end up coming back to the peloton here shortly. And, uh, well, no, it's back together at the front. They still have a minute 44 advantage. It's not over yet, but, yeah, it's over. It's 40K. All right, speaking of, let's get water. I think Arietta should just sit on. Yep, back into the peloton. Good call on that part. 228, he's down, but you know, if he gained a minute here, suddenly he'd be back in contention. Uh, he does not have water though with 14k to go. And here comes the only hill of the day, so let's do something with it. Arietta, uh, we're just gonna stick him to the back and hope he can hang on. 
uh, will gel early for him. Martinez, minus two. He's just cannot catch a break. All right, so McKellar puts the foot down right at the base of a double hill. And sure, ugh, why? And of course, you know, look who's held up behind him because they're trying to follow him. Well, there goes that hope. Sure, guy was, a, you know, like best placed. Actually, you know what? Just go. 99. Try to get back up there. <coughs> Martinez. Arietta, Totally miss out as we go over the top, too. So, yeah. That just happened. Let's wait for them to get back in position here and get their red bar back. Uh, it's too late for a sprint to... Well, we could have a sprint of Mikkels. You know, he's actually well-placed. He's just a terrible climber, so when we hit that mountain stage... Let's drop him back down the order a little bit. And 99 with McKellar. And Shagai is back in the peloton. Nice. And Shagai is in a big group that got dropped. Still trying to make his way forward, and Arietta is fading, but only just. 3.5. Panamara needs to uh, put that foot down. Ida Schelling had actually attacked. 2.7. Well, let's get that lead out going. These are not sprinters. And Mickles. He's got a chance for the stage. He's got a chance for the stage, and he's got himself a stage victory. Hell yeah. We'll take that. Good trade-off. All right. Uh, will there be time gaps? Does he get a time gap for that? This is a punchy stage, and he finished many bike lengths ahead of anybody else. In one race, things are going very well, and we find ourselves in a strong position as the peloton's yo-yoing a little bit right now, but, you know, there's still 90k to go, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, breakaway is not a threat here either, and it's a punchy stage. And when I looked at for Trainer Adriatico here, stage four, we have another punchy stage and a short time trial, a 10 kilometer time trial. There's no mountain stage to come, so I'm loving the position we find ourselves in right now. Uh, things are going well here. Things obviously aren't going as well at the other race, though we did just get the win with Mickles. And I didn't show you because, well, as you can see, I, I've changed and the lighting has changed. It's it's nighttime now. Things came up and I had to leave. I had to go to basketball and now I'm back. But anyway, finishing the episode, not leaving you hanging where we were, cutting it short. We're getting a full episode in today. But anyway, uh, not only did we win the stage with Mickles, but our effort, and that was a punchy stage, our effort split the field. Split the field in a good way. Now, Mickles didn't gain any additional time there. There's a mountain stage to go on that one anyway, so he's not a favorite. But after 40th, 41st on down, lost more than a minute. So that minute and a half we lost, well, we made up a lot of ground on a lot of riders there. Now, I didn't have time because I was taken off for practice. I didn't get a chance to, to look closely, but let's hope there was a GC rider or two or three or four, but there were certainly a lot of other guys. Kronz and Bach. Down they go. We've had some bad luck in the other race, and now we have some bad luck here, and we are way behind. Way behind at a pivotal time here. Now, this is supposed to be, you know, our hope, our man, our guy. But this one, what I was talking about, this, we don't have a mountain stage coming. We have a 10K time trial, so, you know. I would have liked him to be there for that, as he's a good time trialist, but uh, so is Bach. So losing that one, not helpful. Uh, 
Group of 25 up the road. Let's give them a little support here. Let's say 81. Bach dragging us forward at the moment, and Krantz was behind. Lost, lost him there for a second, but now following. All right. Bach carefully will drag him forward as best we can here. All right, Bach, give me an 85. Oh. You are a 63 mountain? Dude, no wonder you're not going anywhere. All right, Bach. Get me your 74 hill rating. Especially with traffic. He's not going to go that hard that fast. And yeah, Kronz is handling this just fine at the moment. And we finally do start to make some progress. Not much, though. Bach, truly a slow guy. He is good in so many areas he has one bad attribute and yeah that was the one that is hurting him here now this is a stage i'm looking to do something on i'm hoping to definitely split the field maybe not everybody but if we can eliminate a bunch of contenders we can set ourselves up nicely uh, a stage win would obviously be great but a small group at the finish line gives us a much better chance at that top three because that 10, 10 kilometer time trial may be short, but that means time gaps aren't going to be massive. There's going to be gaps, and the time trial is not our friend, so uh, we need to eliminate the enemies now. For our enemy, the time trial beats us. Krantz, where you at? Right there. Back to protect. Is that an 82? Alright, it is after this climb that we will look to start getting active, and of course, do we want to get active now? Because <laughs> that's probably going to rule out Krantz. Breakaway's gone. 124 riders. Oh, somebody just went down. We missed that. We didn't hear the crash, but that happened right there. Pedersen. Piccolo. Piccolo. Looks like a piccolo. Okay, we missed our other water opportunity with this incident. Uh, Bach is done and going back, but... Shoot, we need to... He needs to slow down and get out the back really fast here. There we go. Alright. Field split. Now there's 35 at the front, which is ideal. And look, see? There's somebody right there with their hand up. Da -da. That's what I want to do right now. Uh, Vashik. Or Huggins. Eh. Vashik's in second overall. Good to you, me. you got this. Go get some more of that. Hand up, hand up. You can do it. Oh no, now it's up to 88. Well, we just saw Enios do that. Seemingly their leader, number 21, whoever that is. Bernal getting water. Come on, Piccioni. Oh, gosh, Bach is back. Seriously. Yeah, it's back up to 88 riders. Not a major tempo right now. In fact, it's really low tempo. But let's get the water taken care of before we bother to uh, push on. Bach does not get water. That's silly. Uh, let's have you relay, and we need to reset the protect on those guys. The base is rather slow. The riders must be saving some energy for later. All right, Bach, 
not even having to actually do much work, but now there's other guys leading this thing out, so now we have a nice steady tempo. Whereas during the descent, we just sat on a kranz back to full strength, so now I feel confident in the ability to uh, push on like they're doing now. Challenging the intermediate sprint, surprisingly. The Peloton has definitely accelerated, meaning that an attack Whoa, is already on the climb. Okay. 16k to go, and yeah, and that happened really fast after the sprint point. All right, you're on auto. You're not going to be part of this. Kranz is going to be at the back as he's a little tired and still our favorite, even though Gonzalez is the race leader. Uh, Vashek, the other one that's in a very strong position. See what a 91 does. This climb is feared by many riders. The percentages are very Good thing we uh, decided to put our foot down because here goes an attack. Now is that a KOM style attack or are they look for the stage? Could be both. But Azumi keeping them close. Hogan's just now getting in place. Red bar gone, so give me that 99 push. Those guys up front aren't going Let's to with Hoggins. Let's make sure Kronz is still close. Field just split again, 28 riders now. Ten K to go. Every day Ballerini goes down. Scottson, Everart go down. Got a gap to cover to get these two, and we split the field yet again. Now just fifteen at the front. Oh gosh, we're lapping, guys. This is terrible timing on that. We don't know where the two are. There they are. Hoggins, go go free. Be free, my friend. Okay, Vashek, go. Vashek. And follow Hoggins. Gonzalez is there. Kronz a little bit further back. Piccioni in between, so let's go ahead and switch their position. Twenty-one chasing two. Three K to go. Sprint. We got gels left, but never mind. Point six K. Now one kilometer to go, and just now putting the foot down. One by one, setting them up for this final run. There should be some time gaps here. We're not going to win the stage, it's going to be a third place, but. That's going to involve a time gap. That's got to be a time gap. It's already 30 seconds from the finish line. Gonzalez is up there as well. Uh, Huggins would be seeing the bonus, but we should see some time gaps. Some big gaps. I mean, this group is 49 seconds down. We're still hoping we, we have done that because we are all over that top 10 today. And we do have gaps 47 seconds to Bernal and company. I have three guys all on that same time, though 15 seconds down from Stown Medit Johannes. Uh, we'll see where he is placed following this one. He's a decent time trialist, too, so he might be a little tricky one uh, if he was well placed, the Uno X rider. But target was top three, so it's not as big of a deal. Uh, but we've got three guys well placed now. And we do have two more in that next group. And then minute 33. That will open things up. 
Here's how it looks. Oh, 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 oh. A one, two, three right now. Pagatcher, 12 seconds down. Gonzalez still leads. Vashek, Huggins, uh, 12 seconds. 17 to Vaklin. He's up to sixth place now. 22 seconds down. Rowan Dennis at 44. Kranz, 45. Okay, and Piccioni at 51, which leaves me with five guys in the top 10 in contention, and I have the top three. There's five other guys around us, so the worst we can do really right now is probably sixth, seventh place, especially with it being a 10 kilometer, right? Think about that for a second. 10 kilometer time trial. That is short. You shouldn't see gaps of more than well, a lot of the gaps are going to be like 15 to 30 seconds, but I would think at most you would see maybe a 45 second gap to other contenders around you. So 45 seconds puts us somewhere around Rowan Dennis, Kranz, Johannesson, and maybe just Piccioni, so top 10. But again, five of those are mine. So all we have to do is be three three out of those five and we'll have somebody we'll have someone in the top three Gonzalez though 72 overall in the time trial 69 on the prologue it's mostly prologue at, at 10k but he's got a plus five on his expected race day condition why that's why he keeps looking so good Vashek is also those two have plus fives uh, throughout this race Hoggins is a decent time trialist and well positioned now. Uh, Pagatcher, of course, is a good one. Vaclin is okay. Throwing Dennis is still pretty good. Not what he used to be, but still quite good. None of them are bad at time trialing. But only two of them are very good. One of those also being at that 44 second time gap. You know, if you're talking a half a minute, there's three guys. And three of us. One of those three beating one of those three. And it's enough. That is going to do it for this episode, though. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.